There we go. Tim McGraw, live like you were dying. Man, that, those are really, really good words to live by. <laughs> right? Live like you were dying. Well, I'm not going to lie to you guys, man. I drank like if I was dying, but let me see here. I'm going to break it down for y'all. Let me see. My birthday was Friday, so that means I had to drink for a little bit. I had to have a couple of drinky boos. Well, let's go back to Wednesday. Wednesday, I went with the boys, and we had some beers and wings and all that other good stuff and yelling and screaming. And so I drank Wednesday. I took a break on Thursday. Now, Friday was my birthday when I had dinner and drinks with my, with my family. Saturday, I went to the Astros game. I had to have my $12 beers. Uh, Sunday, I was at the Kinder, Louisiana, Kajana. Of course, I'm going to have some drinks there. Monday, I was in Biloxi, Mississippi at the Bull Ravos Casino. I had to have some drinks there. Tuesday, I was at the Bull Ravos Casino still uh, gambling, doing my thing, so I had to have some more drinks over there. So, Wednesday, I drove back to uh, Kinder, Louisiana, Kajana. Of course, I'm gambling, so i got to have some drinks there. <laughs> Thursday, I come back to San Antonio, I'm back home, and, you know, I got my 12-pack of Michelob Ultra that I forgot about, and I said, well, you know, I got to welcome myself back and have myself a couple of Michelob Ultras last night. I'm serious, man. I'm drinking like if I'm dying, I probably am going to die. Man, I, I, I've got to I gotta give my system a rest here, probably on Monday. Monday, I'll give my system a rest. Anyways, good morning, Double R Radio, Friday morning. It is great to be back. It really, really is, man. And I had a lot of people sending me messages, welcome back, Robert, welcome back, Robert. It's great to be back. You know, I love being out there doing my thing, but in the words of Toto from the Wizard of Oz, there's no place like home. Wait a minute, Toto didn't say that. The girls did, right? Not Toto. Toto didn't say anything. Toto just ran around and did whatever he did. Let's see here. Let's do some good morning shout-outs. Good morning shout out. Good morning, shout-out. Lucero Medina. Good morning. Good morning. There we go. Margaret Charles. Good morning, Margarita Bell. Lisa Maldonado Hernandez. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Cecilia Avila. Good morning, Abel Martinez. Buenos dias. Buenos dias, amigo. There we go. Lisa Maldonado Hernandez says, Good morning, Robert, from Waco, Texas, in the casa. Good morning, Waco, Texas. Now, I'm going to give you all a fun fact here, man. This is all true. I'm not making this up. The, um, the mileage that I drove from San Antonio to Biloxi, Mississippi, by way of Houston, Kinder, Louisiana, and back, uh, one way was 609 miles. Round trip, 1,200. We'll go with 1,500 total. 1,500 miles I drove. Uh, since Saturday, Sunday, Monday, man, that's some serious money doing Uber, but that's okay. You know, I gave it up. So that's a long way to go. It really, really is. But I'm looking at what I did, and right now in front of me, I'm going like, man, I can't believe I went all the way over there. But then again, my prom date told me the same thing back in 78, where she told me, I can't believe I went all the way over there, Robert, with you. Uh, but she actually, uh, we're not even going to go there. But anyway, that's a long way to go. It really, really is. Now, let me just say this. Good morning, shout out to Janet Lopez. By the way, I ran into my buddy, Janet Lopez Mauricio, at Cachada Casino. I just heard, Robert! And I go, holy crap, I'm hearing things. And then I hear, Robert! And I'm like, some... It can't be me. I don't think so. And then they hear, Double R Radio. And I go, holy crap, who knows me here, man? I'm incognito. And I look, and it was Janet Lopez Mauricio. And I go, hey, Janet, hey, Robert. And she hugged me and everything and copped a feel and everything. And said, hey, Janet, come on, man. Hey, hey. So anyways, it was great seeing her. She was there with her girlfriends doing the girly thing. And, and there you go. And Janet was Terica. Come on, Robert, have a drink with us. And no, I'm trying to make money. Come on, Robert, have a drink with us. I'm trying to make money, Janet. What's your problem? Eventually, I did, and there you go. No, but really, man, it was great seeing Janet Lopez Mauricio at Cachada Casino, man. Simply awesome. You never know who you're going to run into. Good morning, Janet. Good morning, Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez. Susie Belmont. Good morning, good morning, good morning. There we go. La Janet Lopez Mauricio. Edward Castillo. Good morning, good morning. Cecilia Avila. So good morning, Robert. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Now, that being said, let's move forward. I am, um, um, Monday morning... I get in my car, and I'm ready to go to Biloxi, Mississippi. Here we go, man. I've never made this road trip before. I've never driven to Biloxi, Mississippi. So anyways, I get in my car, and I'm going through, uh, you know, I'm just doing my thing. I get through, I get out of Louisiana, and I'm in Mississippi. I'm about an hour away from the Beau Rivage. All true. Okay, check this out, man. And mind you what I said earlier. I have not gotten pulled, been pulled over by a cop. 
in about 20 years. I got pulled over in kinder. I was given a warning. Good to go. I'm in Biloxi, Mississippi. Okay? Not yet. I'm about an hour outside of Biloxi, Mississippi. And what happens? I get pulled over by a cop again. No lie, man. I'm driving. I'm going the speed limit. And I see this car, man. This, this car is really, really close to me. And I go, man, what the hell is this problem? Only cops do that. And lo and behold, the lights start flashing in back of me. And I go, are you serious? Back-to-back -back days of getting pulled over by a cop. All true. I pull over to the side of the road. The cop pulled over to the side of the road. I put it in park this time. And here comes the officer. Here we go again. And he goes to the pass. All true. He goes to the passenger side. I lower my window. How you doing, officer? How can I help you? He goes, well, I just wanted to uh, let you know. Uh, how's your day going? He goes like, how's your I said, well, I'm doing okay until I got pulled over <laughs> again. And he goes, the reason I pulled you over was you failed to put on your blinker when you changed lanes on the highway. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> I thought to myself, I'm not going to be smart with this guy, man. I'm in Mississippi. You know, you get thrown in jail in Mississippi, they don't let you out until you learn how to spell Mississippi. Really, it's true. If you get thrown in jail in Mississippi, the magic question will be this. You want to get out of jail? Yes. Okay, spell Mississippi. Uh, M A uh, S. Uh, can I start again? Okay, M A. You're not gonna leave that jail until you learn how to spell Mississippi. So, anyways, I'm talking to the officer. Well, officer, I'm sorry. I meant no disrespect. I didn't realize I didn't turn on my blinker when I was changing lanes on the highway. And he goes. Don't worry about it. Where are you going to? And I go to the Beau Rivage. He goes, oh, I'm going to do some gambling now. And I go, well, I'm going to drive to you. He goes, where are you coming from? I said, Kinder, Louisiana. Oh, you're in Cachada? And said, yeah. And now you're coming over here? Yeah. Just, I'm on vacation, sir. You know, just trying to have a good time getting away from the women and everything in San Antonio. They just won't leave me alone, officer. So he goes, man, I'm, I'm with you, brother. He goes, just do me a favor. Please. Use your blinker whenever you're changing lanes. I said, no problem, officer, whatsoever. No problem whatsoever, officer. You have a good day, son. And I, you too, Mr. Officer. And there you go. The second time getting pulled over in 24 hours in Mississippi. So, I get to Mississippi, right? I get to the Bow Revise. I park. Kind of weird because I've gone over there by plane. And they take us over there by bus. This time... It was different. I'm driving over there. And I got a big wad of money, man. I got a... Really, man, I'm packing like $2,500 that I made in Kinder, Louisiana. And I'm feeling nervous. Really, man, I don't pack money like that. No, I don't. I only pack about maybe $10 bills and that's about it. So, I'm walking in there, man, and... I mean, I want to get to my room. I want to be able to put my money and hide it or whatever. And I don't want to be packing all that money all over the place. So, I get to the room over there and in uh, Biloxi, Mississippi... And I got to tell you, man, if you've never been to the Beau Rivage, I mean, you need to go. It is simply beautiful. Your beachfront, the casino is gorgeous. The shopping mall that's in there as well. The food's awesome. The women are, uh, uh, and uh, well, like, what more do I need to say? I mean, I had a great time in Biloxi, Mississippi. I really, really did. Until it was time to come back to Louisiana. So you could go figure this. Saturday night, I'm at uh, Minute Maid Park with the Houston Astros. Sunday, I'm at Kinder, Louisiana, Cachada. Monday night, I'm in Biloxi, Mississippi, the Bow Revise. Tuesday night, I'm at the Bow Revise, Biloxi, Mississippi. Wednesday morning, I need to drive back. So I figured, well, if I'm driving back to San Antonio and I got to go through Kinder, Louisiana, I might as well stop there one more time. And mind you, the only hotel that I paid for was in Houston. I paid $82 for that stupid room at the La Quinta. But all my other rooms at Cachada were free, uh, Biloxi, Mississippi, they were free, and they were just simply awesome. And I got to tell you, the, the crap-ass room they gave me at La Quinta is night and day to the rooms they gave me at the Beau Rivage at, and uh, Cachada, man. Those rooms at uh, Cachada were 24-karat gold, man. I'm serious, man. They were simply awesome. Now, I tell you what, before I give you the lowdown about me going to um, um, Gator Country, I need to talk to you all about that. Let's uh, let's get to my question of the day. But before we get to my question of the day, check this out, man. I've got a lot of stories here, but I'm only going to give you all one for today. This story cracked me up. Check this out. A Utah man flew a small plane into his own house early Monday, 
just at, just hours after he had been arrested for assaulting his wife. So go figure. A man and wife, you know, husband and wife get in an argument. The man gets arrested. Okay. Okay, the man gets out of jail. Okay. What does he do? He goes and rents a private plane and crashes the plane into his wife's house to show her. <laughs> hey, man, there's other ways of showing her. Not like that. I mean... I'm not the. I'm not a person to think. Well, you know what? I'm going to go rent a plane and crash my plane into your house. I'm not going to do that. But obviously, obviously, this guy did, and there you go. Now he's back in jail for crashing a plane into his wife's house. Good morning, Chad. I got to say, Xavier Olivares. There we go. X Man in the casa. Nicole Olvera. Good morning, Irma Medina. Good morning, Ever Castillo. Good morning, Cynthia Gonzalez. Let me know. Good morning, Susie Belmont. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. La Janet Lopez Mauricio. Anyways, let's get to my question of the day. Get into my question of the day. I'm going to get back to uh, Minute Maid Park. Um, like I said, I was sitting next to a couple to my right. Young couple, they were from, uh, um, I think they were from New Orleans or somewhere over there, but we were talking quite a bit and joking and drinking our $12 beer, and I noticed that the girl was eating a crap load of sunflower seeds, and I go, man, I remember back in the day, I didn't mind sunflower seeds here and there, but I wasn't a big fan of it. My question of the day, simple, straight to the point, eating sunflower seeds, hell yes or hell no. I never really cared for them. You know, you put sunflowers in your mouth, you gotta crack that little peanut open, you get the little the little cacahuate out, then you gotta spit out the peanut. I've never cared for a spitter. I am not too much on spitters, even know what I'm talking about. So anyway <laughs> If a girl's probably going, You better watch it, Robert, this is a family show, Robert Okay, this is a family show and I'm talking about spitters or whatever the case. Head on over to Robert Reavers in a radio group page right now and answer me pregunta por favor. Eating sunflower seeds. Hell yes or hell no. Anyway, there we go. X Men says hell yes, Robert. Hell yes, I'm going to be eating that. Anyways, like I was talking about earlier, unfortunately, we lost a music icon. The Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, passed away yesterday, man. And she had been on hospice for about a week, but before that, she had really been having some health issues and she passed away. She suffered a lot, pobrecita, and now she's in heaven. And uh, all I'm going to say is, man, the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, rest in peace. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. How we doing? I don't want to miss anybody. We're good to go. Just get back to the morning show. Join me, RobertRevisRadio.com. Just click on the blue button and you'll be joining me live. Orale.